I say, looking at the next 100 years, that there are two trends in the world today. The first trend is toward what we call a type one civilization, a planetary civilization, a civilization that uh, resembles something out of Buck Rogers or Flash Gordon. A type two civilization is stellar. They consume so much energy, they can play with stars. That's, for example, the Federation of Planets in Star Trek. Star Trek would represent a typical type two civilization. Then we have type three, which is galactic, like the Borg or Independence Day or the Empire of the Empire Strikes Back. That is a type three civilization, which is truly galactic. Now, by the time you reach type two, you are immortal. Nothing known to science can destroy a type two civilization. Comets, meteors, earthquakes, even a supernova. A type two civilization would be able to survive even a supernova. The danger is the transition between type zero and type one. And that's where we are today. We are a type zero civilization. We get our energy from dead plants, oil and coal. But if you get a calculator, you can calculate when we will attain type one status. The answer is in about a hundred years, we will become planetary. We'll be able to harness all the energy output of the planet Earth. We'll play with the weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything planetary we will play with. The danger period is now because we still have the savagery. We still have all the passions. We have all the sectarian uh, fundamentalist ideas circulating around, but we also have nuclear weapons. We have chemical, biological weapons capable of wiping out life on Earth. So I see two trends in the world today. The first trend is toward a multicultural, scientific, tolerant society. And everywhere I go, I see aspects of that birth. For example, what is the internet? Many people have written about the internet, billions and billions of words written about the internet. But to me, as a physicist, the internet is the beginning of a type one telephone system, a planetary telephone system. So we're privileged to be alive to witness the birth of type one technology, a planetary telephone system. What is English? English is the beginning of a type one language. Everywhere I go around the earth, people speak English because that's the lingua franca of science, technology, business. They all speak English. It is the number one second language on the planet earth. And what is the European Union? The European Union is the beginning of a type one economy. And how come these European countries, which have slaughtered each other ever since the ice melted 10,000 years ago, how come they have banded together, put aside their differences to create the European Union? Well, to compete with us. And who are we? We are NAFTA. So we're beginning to see the beginning of a type one economy as well. Then we're beginning to see the beginning of a type one culture. Everywhere I go, you turn on the radio, and what do you hear? Rock and roll. You hear rap music. You hear youth music. Youth music is now planetary, knows no boundaries around the planet Earth. Everywhere I go, I see high fashion, Chanel, Gucci bags. We're producing the birth of a planetary fashion. Also sports. Take a look at the Olympics. Take a look at soccer. We're seeing the beginning of a tribal initiation rite called sports being turned into a planetary initiation rite that unifies the entire planet. So whenever I open the newspaper, every headline I see in the newspaper points to the birth pangs of a type one civilization in formation. However, every time I open the newspaper, I also see the opposite trend as well. What is terrorism? Terrorism in some sense is a reaction against the creation of a type one civilization. Now, most terrorists cannot articulate this. They don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. But what they're reacting to is not modernism. What they're reacting to is the fact that we're headed toward a multicultural, tolerant, scientific society. And that's what they don't want. They don't want science. They want a theocracy. They don't want multiculturalism. They want monoculturalism. So, <laughs> so instinctively, they don't like the, the march toward a type one civilization. Now, which tendency will win? I don't know. 
but I hope that we emerge as a type 1 civilization. Now, in outer space, we look for signs for, of intelligent life in outer space. So far, we find none. Civilizations like type 1 should be commonplace in the galaxy. Some people assume, therefore, that type 0 civilizations are rather common, but only a few of them make it to type 1 because that society, for the first time in its history, has the ability to commit planetary suicide. So maybe that's the reason why we don't see aliens in outer space. Maybe they never made it. Maybe one day when we have starships and visit them, we'll see atmospheres that are irradiated because they had a nuclear war. Atmospheres too hot to sustain life because they had a runaway greenhouse effect. Maybe when we go in outer space, we'll see the corpses of type 1 civilizations that never quite made it. Who knows?